Okay, so now we're looking at a different theorem here, and this is secant segments. If you remember, a secant is a line or segment or ray that passes through a circle. Remember, the tangent intersects the circle at one point. The chord is actually a segment inside the circle, and the secant goes all the way through the circle. So let's look at this theorem. If two secant segments are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, the product of the measures of one secant segment and its external secant segment is equal to the product of the measures of the other secant segment and its external. Now, to shorten this up a little bit, that means whole times outside equals whole times outside. So let's look at this here using that idea. Okay, so these are two secants. I'm going to write that. That's a secant and that's a secant. Why are they secants? Because they intersect the circle in two points. A chord would look like this. This would be a chord. See? That would be a chord. But it goes on. Chords stop. It goes on. Okay? So, we have secant, secant. Now, what this is saying is that the entire secant times the outside piece equals the entire secant times the outside piece when you have two secants. Okay. Here's the outside piece for this secant. That's 6. What's the whole piece for this secant? 6 plus x. Wouldn't you add the two pieces together to get the whole secant? So you've got whole secant times exterior. That's going to equal what's the external or the outside piece? 8. What's the whole secant? 8 plus 18. Do you see how that works? Okay, you see how that works. Whole times outside equals whole times outside. Chords are piece times piece equals piece times pieced. Piece, not pieced. <sighs> Thank God I don't teach English. You have whole times outside, whole times outside when you have two secants. So let's uh, work this out. Distribute 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times x is 6x. I'm going to combine this 8 times 18, 8 plus 18. That's 26. So 8 times 26 is 160 and 48, which is 208. So now I'm going to solve for x. So let's solve for x. Let's do that because we want to. I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. So 6x equals 172. Okay, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 6, so x equals, I've got a, a, a child talking to me, x equals 2, which gives us 12, and then 52, so 8, okay, so that's going to be around 28-ish, so, so we have 160, 208, and we have 36 plus 6x, Subtracted 36, and I'm going to get, my son is talking to me, 108. Hold on, sweetheart. So you have 28. If I do 172, and I'm trying to think, but my son is talking to me, and I cannot concentrate, so I'm going to have to do it the long way instead of showing off my brain. So you got 48. Whoops, that's 48. So 4. How many times? So 6 times 6. So you're going to get 28 and two-thirds about, so about 28.7. So 28.7 is going to be the length of this. So how do we check it? Well, if I plug 28.7 back in for x, what am I going to get? So that gives me 34.7. I cannot think. Sorry, my child is talking to me. So that gives me 34.7 times 6 equals 208, and this gives you 180 and 24, which is 204, and 6 times 7 is about 4, so that's going to be about approximately 208, so that is correct. That was a tough one because you got a decimal and you got to round it, so 
28.7 is x. Again, secant is outside times whole equals outside times whole. We just happened to come up with an ugly decimal on this one. Okay, so that's secant secant.